Good morning, everybody. Let's kick it off with what happened overnight. Starting over in the US, uh, we saw the US Fed keeping rates on hold at 5.5% as expected. Um, as usual, nothing too surprising from Powell in his remarks uh, with the more work to be done stance, uh, leaving the door open still to another rate rise if needed. Uh, Powell did flag that the strength in the US economy is still pretty strong, uh, but also mentioned uh, inflation expectations are in a good place. Uh, and they're making progress, uh, but obviously watching the data closely moving forward. During the talk, uh, there was plenty of chopping both US equities and the US dollar markets. However, markets seemed to be pretty happy with what comments, uh, with both uh, US equities gaining strength in the last hour of session, um, both S&P and the Nasdaq finishing up with 1%, uh, and the dollar also losing some strength in that last hour of trading as well. Over in FX, uh, the yen, regained some losses from yesterday after some threats of an intervention from the Japanese authorities. Um, the strength also continued in the last few hours as the dollar lost momentum against most currency pairs after the FOMC meeting this morning. Oil and gold are both down slightly for the session, not a huge amount of movement in this pair for the day, uh, but still plenty of volatility to be found uh, with the conflict going on in the Middle East. Uh, the VIX as well uh, continue to ease down from about 22 a few days ago to just under 17, indicating the market seemed to be having a little bit more calm uh, across the last week or so. Futures, Asian and Aussie markets are expected to open pretty strong this morning. Uh, S&P, uh, sorry, the ASX 200 futures currently up over 1.5%. Uh, seeing out the rest of the week, still plenty more to come. Uh, we've got the Bank of England rate decision due out tonight. They're expecting to keep rates on hold again at about 5.25%. Similar to the Fed this morning, not expecting a huge reaction uh, to the pound if it does come in as expected. Uh, but we can see some chop shortly after as markets start analysing the meeting minutes um, to get any hints on potential future movements. To finish off the week, we've got plenty of US economic and un unemployment figures due to land as well tonight. Something to keep an eye on, uh, just to help understand the strength of the US economy, especially after the Fed uh, rate decision this morning and the Fed's still trying to see cracks in that US economy.